Hello, I'm Courtney Searwalt, Indiana 4-H Animal Science Extension Specialist. The following video should be utilized for the collection of DNA for your 4-H beef and 4-H dairy cattle that you're planning to exhibit at the Indiana State Fair. All 4-H beef, heifers, steers, and all 4-H dairy females, as well as feeder steers and big steers should have a DNA hair sample on file with your local extension office by May 15th. Again, the practices of this video are going to show and probably even reference a beef animal, but this is a requirement for dairy cattle as well. Thank you, and if you have any questions, be sure to contact your local extension office. I'm Dr. Kara Stewart from Purdue University. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to properly collect the hair sample from your 4-H beef cattle project. A DNA hair sample is required for all market steers, registered heifers, commercial heifers, and dairy feeder steers that you want to be eligible for the Indiana State Fair. Before beginning, you will need pliers, brush, and the collection envelopes for all of the beef cattle that you intend to collect a sample from. Collection envelopes are available at your county extension office. You will also likely need assistance in restraining your beef cattle in a chute and a head gate in order to collect the hair sample. First, if the tail switch is dirty, use your brush to remove dirt and other contaminants. Make sure the area is dry before collecting hair. Use bent nose, long nose, or needle nose pliers to pull the hair. Place the pliers close to the tail and pull the hair directly away from the animal, not at an angle. This will allow the root to come out with the hair. Do not cut the hair from the animal as the roots must be present for DNA analysis. Pull enough hair such that your sample is about the size of a pencil, which is approximately 30 hairs. Repeat the pulling process if necessary until you have enough hair with roots. Visually inspect the hairs to ensure the roots are attached. These appear as clear or white tips on the ends of the hair. If the roots are not present, discard the sample and start over. Place your hair sample directly into the self-sealing collection envelope. Avoid touching the roots and using plastic bags. Then fill in the appropriate information on the envelope. Repeat this process for the remaining animals. Clean and dry the pliers and your hands between each collection to prevent contamination of the sample. The sealed collection envelopes with the information completed on the front of the envelope should be turned in to your county extension office prior to the deadline for beef cattle ID in 4-H online. This is April 1st for market steers and May 15th for registered heifers, commercial heifers, and dairy feeder steers. This is required for all of your beef cattle that you want to be eligible for the Indiana State Fair. For specific requirements related to your county-only animals, please contact your county extension office. So in summary, the collection envelopes are available from your county extension office. They are going to be due April 1st for market steers and May 15th for heifers and dairy feeder steers. Remember, pull the hair, do not cut it. Check for follicles and make sure you have approximately 30 follicles total in the envelope. Co-enrolled animals with siblings only require one sample. Be sure to put all siblings' names on the envelope of the co-enrolled animal. 